Creators Trey Parker and Matt Stone didn't hold back. The rumour is that Meghan Markle's moon bump will feature in South Park Part 2. It's fair to say the South Park showrunners are not worried about Meghan and Harry. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry don't get that going against these two seasoned veterans might not work out the way they intended. When asked about a potential lawsuit from them, they completely brushed it off by saying, There are so many moments we can't even remember. It's all coming from the right. We were considered counterculture. The Catholic League are always on our ass. It always comes from that side. Meanwhile, Harry and Meghan Markle have been warned that they'll have to struggle a lot to mend their strained reputation after South Park's grilling. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will find it very hard to recover their reputation, especially these days when they're feuding with the royal family, claimed a PR expert. Speaking to the Daily Star, PR expert Coram James said the ridicule on recent episode of South Park marks a new low for the California-based couple. The expert said that this is because so many respected people have faced similar fates of South Park shows that, on its own, reputationally, this is not a problem and would be easily recoverable. What, however, is not so easy to recover from is the growing sense that even the Sussexes' most naturally aligned bases are seeming to question their storylines and alleged double standards. To the extent that shows such as South Park feel able to make fun of a couple who've recently made serious allegations concerning highly charged themes, the expert added. With those allegations being taken at face value, they'd have impunity from ridicule, he said. In that sense, I think that the Sussexes have a lot to worry about. Because when your own base starts to question your integrity, honesty and viability, it's very hard to recover your reputation. The episode in true South Park form doesn't hold back. Here are the references you may have missed. The writers drew from Queen Elizabeth's II funeral for one small joke featured early on in the episode. If anything, the candle's appearance in South Park was designed to send up the social media furore as opposed to Markle. Harry and Meghan's several TV appearances, including a sit-down with Oprah Winfrey, an appearance on ITV News, were sent up in the episode. The characters, based on the pair, appear on Good Morning Canada to insist that they want privacy. However, it's pointed out by the host that Meghan is holding a sign reading, Do not look at us. Harry's sign states, We do not want privacy. When the host asks the prince if he hates journalists, he replies, That's right. We just want to be normal people. All this attention is so hard. They end up walking off the show. In the episode, the royal couple give up their duties to move to South Park, with the character based on Meghan exclaiming, If we moved here, people would think we're really serious about wanting to be normal. This is a direct reference to the couple's move to California after announcing they'd step down as senior royals in 2020. Their move to South Park angers the lead characters, with Kyle telling accusing the prince's wife of bossing him around. Adding, I'm sick of hearing about them. I can't get away from them. They're in my fucking face. In a tiny moment featured in the episode, several magazine covers appear on the screen, many of which sends up Meghan's interview with Vogue in the cut. However, it's a GQ one published in 2018 that's raising eyebrows. Written on the actual cover of the magazine was Meghan's Annus Mirabilis, which translated from Latin means Meghan's wonderful year. The Latin phrasing itself was a nod to a speech given by the Queen in 1992. Referred to as a Annus Horribilis, the speech, which featured in the most recent season of The Crown, came after a particularly bad year for the monarchy.